I had to stop and refuel. Got some cabbage, some white rice. That's a uh, pork, pulled pork, kind of like stew, which is real good. It's a pot roast, basically, with pork. You got the macaroni and cheese. Oh, yeah. I'm about to go in. Peace. Be sure to check out my latest videos. One of my latest videos is a Diamond Select Gallery Walmart exclusive Dr. Doom statue. <laughs> you also have some cool Stormtroopers by Hasbro, Star Wars Black Series. And scroll down and watch one of my favorite videos like The Joker Volume 1. You guys are guys be safe out there and I will catch you later. Peace. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys of and girls, we have finally finished the Apocalypse Wave, and this is everything within the Apocalypse Wave, right? So you got Sabretooth, you got Magneto, you got Cyclops, you got Iceman, you got Rogue, you have Kitty Pride, and you also have Legion, right? So we finally finished the Age of Apocalypse uh, Colossus Wave, but I think we're going to go into the Sugar Man wave, right? So if we go into the Sugar Man wave, that's going to be pretty cool. It's pretty expensive. Uh, it's going to take me a while to kind of build it. Uh, I didn't want to collect the new Marvel Legends, but when you release X-Men, you know, it's the first time you release some characters, I definitely have to get it. Uh, so this is the first time I've ever seen, you know, uh, Legion. First time I've ever seen the, the Omega Level Iceman, the Age of Apocalypse, uh, Cyclops, Magneto. You know, they did release the Sabretooth back in the day. And uh, if you want to see him, just uh, look at my Sabretooth video. Uh, he was like one of the first ones that I bought and the first ones that I reviewed. And uh, it's pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely love Age of Apocalypse. It's definitely a part of my childhood. But I realized that I needed one more figure to totally say, hey, you know, this is complete. You guys ready for it? All right, here it is. And here he is in Sabanur at his greatest. This is the Age of Apocalypse, Apocalypse, where he took over. I always thought he was like a little bit uh, cartoonish uh, when I saw him in the comic books. Uh, but I've seen worse drawings of him, <laughs> you know. Uh, but this one's cool because he comes with the skull. He actually sat on a throne full of skulls. I thought it was pretty cool, man. Um, I didn't realize how much stress this comic cost me as a kid. Um because it was very dark. And I love when the, the... Look, it's Cape. Oh, my God. It's Black Cape. It's in the background. Uh, he... This... When they visited... When I got older in, uh, in uh, the X-Force run, I realized that stress came back because those comics almost have, like, no hope. It's just a dark, 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 dark future. And, uh, you know, I just love Apocalypse. I don't think he comes with the Apocalypse tentacles. Usually has the tentacles that run from his forearm to the back of his uh, the back of his uh, shoulder. I don't see those, but this is very definitely, definitely comic book accurate. Um, I have thought about buying this before, uh, but now that I have the set of Age of Apocalypse figures, I definitely had to buy it. Um, it's just awesome. Look at the side art. Which is pretty moderate. Usually, you know, they when they drew him in the Age of Apocalypse, he was, you know, kind of like this. Very awesome. Just dark, dark figure. Uh, he saw the opportunity. He awoke when uh, Professor X was demise. Apocalypse felt it, and he awoke. Usually he sleeps for 100 years, and, and he just waits for the opportunity to wake up. And when Professor X was killed by his son Legion, he woke up. And that's when he took over, you know what I'm saying? That's when it became the Age of Apocalypse. And they didn't even let us know, comic book readers, that it was going to happen. They just did it. And that's what shocked everybody. You went from reading like Wolverine to Weapon X. You went from reading X-Men to Astonishing X-Men, uh, Gambit and the Eternals. You know what I'm saying? Just all kind of crazy stuff. And it, it just hit us by surprise, us comic book collectors. And it was a pretty good run. It's something that I'll never forget in my lifetime. Something that I will always remember just hit me by surprise. And it was so many titles out there, it was impossible for me to get them all. 
But uh, Comic Book Window has the omnibus, and he let me read it. And after all these years, I finally put all the pieces together on what was going on in the Age of Apocalypse. So <clears throat> if you want a good starting point at the Age of Apocalypse and how everything went, uh, it would be good to get the omnibus, which they are re-releasing. So very cool. Apocalypse launches an offense, offense, uh, offensive against uh, humankind in pursuit of the world where mutants rule and only the strong survive. So, man, I'm telling you, Age of Apocalypse did something to me. It showed me, it was almost like a dark Terminator future. And they were the first ones to kind of show it. I know they did do that in, uh, what was that? The, the What was the one with Kitty Pride? The... Uh, end of days what was that uh days of the future past is what i was looking for so yeah i think this is awesome he basically after i got this apocalypse i'm like i don't really need to collect any of the age of x-men but i think i'm gonna go after the sugar man run because i've always liked dark beast the actual uh package came in immaculate condition you know what i'm saying i don't have any gripes about it you know what i'm saying of course you know, you have marks or whatever like this, but that comes from, you know, the person holding it for a long time and, you know, uh, waiting to sell it. But, uh, yeah, I think this is very awesome. And uh, what do you guys think? He's very heavy, too. I mean, he's stupid heavy. But, yeah. Look, we finally did it. Doesn't it feel good to have an accomplishment done? So before I jump off in the Sugar Man wave, let me be... <laughs> Very confident in the fact that we got the whole Age of Apocalypse. Uh, well, we got half of them. I'm sorry, the Sugar Man run would be the second half, and then we'll be definitely done. But yeah, very awesome. Very cool. All right, so these are released in 2020. You guys ready? Let's do this. And so, once again, I'd like to thank you guys and girls for tuning in to another episode of Direct Edition, the Chalmers Fair Hall Direct Edition. Um, I will always collect Star Wars and X-Men uh, action figures. And you girls and guys be safe out there and I will catch you later. Uh, remember words of wisdom. Focus on the ones that show you love and the ones that don't show you love. Hey, we're just going to keep on rolling without them. The name of the channel is Fred Hall Direct Edition. I will catch you girls and guys later. Be safe out there. Oh, this is so awesome. Look at that. Peace.